Now let's go back to textiles and let's create a textile that uses some of the other options that we didn't select in our first uh, textile. Say new, and we're just going to give this a name that is meaningless, just to give it a name. Let's pick a textile. Now the the textiles that you see here with the prefix IC are IntelliCAD provided textiles. You may or may not want to use them depending on whether you're going to share your work outside of your office. Let's choose freehand and you get a preview down here in the lower right of what that textile actually looks like. So that's one that I happen to like. This time let's make the width factor here two. And we'll change our oblique angle to 15 to simulate sort of a handwritten look. And we're going to put in a fixed text height this time. And we'll say OK. And when we say OK, it asks us do we want to save it. We we'll say yes. And it's also set to the current textile. So if we ask it now to draw some standard text. We're going to pick our placement. You'll notice it did not ask me for a text height. It immediately went to the rotation angle of the text. So there's one advantage in setting a text height in that dialog if you consistently are going to use a specific text height. In fact, you could add a text height to your name we could have said temp 1.5 so that when you go to change text or text styles you can easily see that it's set up for a specific height. So let's go ahead and type and you can see there's quite a difference there. So this text is twice as wide as it normally would be and it has quite a slant to it. Let's come back to text styles. And just for giggles, we're going to ask it to print the text backwards. I'll take out the slant. And I'm going to say new temp backward. So we're going to print it backwards and let's just select upside down too so that you can see that all in one shot and we'll leave it at a fixed height. Say OK. Do we want to save it? Yes. Now let's go ahead and draw some standard text. Pick a spot. It didn't, you'll notice it didn't ask us for the text height so it saves a little time. And there. Now you'll notice from the location that I selected as my starting point, it put the text upside down because we told it to draw it upside down, and it also drew it from right to left rather than from left to right. So there's a lot of versatility that you can take advantage of with textiles, and I, again, uh, changing textiles. Depending on which version of AutoCAD you're in, you may have a toolbar pull down available to you, just like the layers, that will allow you to quickly change textiles. That is not available in the version that runs on IntelliCAD. So you'll find that under the Draw Text Set Textile dialog. And it's as simple as that. There's one more thing that I want to show you that's uh, really uh, quite a time saver. If you have textiles already set up in an existing drawing that you'd just like to copy into this drawing. Well, before I started this session, I opened a drawing. And if we go under the Window command, You'll see the drawings that are currently open listed. 
And in this drawing, I know that I have a text style called Roman D, which is the text style that I used for my contour labels. I'd like to copy that text style into my existing drawing. So let's go back to our the drawing that we're working in. And the way you can do that rather quickly, rather than use this window, is to use the layer icon right next to the layer pull down menu. Or you can also access it by going to view layer control. And that opens up the, dial the layer dialog box that you've seen before. But one thing that we didn't see prior to this tutorial is that we have two drawings currently open. The one that we're working with is called Dim and Textiles.dwg, and the drawing that I opened as well was called Finish Grades. I would like to copy the textiles from that drawing into my current drawing. So we select textiles and now the information presented to the right is relevant to textiles that reside in that drawing. Well, Roman D is a textile that I'd like to use in this drawing and if I wanted to I could select more than one by holding down the left or holding down the control key on your keyboard and then picking the textiles that I want to choose. If I picked one that I didn't want or I've rethought and I'd like to deselect it, well while you're holding the control key pick it again and it will be deselected. So we've now selected the textiles that we'd like to copy into the new drawing. You can let go of the control button and with the mouse hovering over one of the selected or highlighted textiles, right button and choose copy. Now let's go to our current drawing, choose textiles, and you'll notice the textiles that were in the other drawing are not in this drawing. And it's as simple as clicking with the left button in this dialog area and then right button paste. And now you'll see those two textiles that we selected from the other drawing are now available to us in this drawing. And although we're not talking about dimension styles, the same procedure would apply to dimension styles. We'd come back to the drawing that had a dimension style that we liked, would write button copy, come back to our current drawing, select dimension styles, and in this area of the dialog, right button, paste. Very convenient. You can do the other, you can also follow that same procedure for blocks or defined views and line types. Very convenient. So now let's make sure that that textile is available to us. Let's go change it. Set style. I want to choose Roman D. Say OK and let's draw some text just to make sure. And sure enough it is. And it's as easy as that.